Do a Swifty here. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, hell no. You're it, Mama. You're it. Oh, honey, I can't. I gotta get ready for Daddy. Oh. Come on, sweetie. You wanna go get some juice? Yeah. Come on, Swifty. You play with me. Found him in the garbage can behind my office. I guess so we have to give him one. Name her, Soapy. Name her. Well, I see that calmly kind of color, so why don't we name her Candy? <laughs> she did it again, Nancy <laughs> Lee. You always come up with the best name, Soapy. Where, where's uh, Where's Bonnie? Inside with Lil Ray. And you know she gonna pitch a fit about you bringing home another sick dog. Don't you worry, she's gonna fall in love with this dog. Watch what I tell you. It's not just the dog, Ray. You should have asked me about taking Nancy Lee to the next meeting. I thought since the Callaways are taking Jennifer, Nancy Lee might have some fun. Will you stop? Do you love me? She's too young. Tell me you love me. I love you, Ray. I, I don't think that she's... Settle in, all right? And I help you. Okay. You ought to tell that child to go to bed. Well, Mama, she got to finish her lessons. Show sure can't learn nothing here sleep. I get both of them in the bed. Right now. Yes, Mama. Okay. Bedtime. Good night, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. <laughs> Mom, I hope Joseph said maybe he'd take me to the picture show Saturday night. You can't 
here if I go? Oh, my back is killing me. Wish you'd find somebody worth something. Quit fooling around with him. Crippled up no account. Walt Jessup's a good man. Hmm. I know how bad you always wanted to hold me on. But me and you were doing all right. Don't mess up your life trying to get yourself a house. I'd like Holt even if he didn't have a penny to his name. And anyhow, why you like Holt, Jesse? He's old as me. Because he's sweet. Mm-hmm. Watch out for them sweet talkers. They ain't nothing but trouble. How would you know? Take my word for it. On a hill far away. Good and old rugged cross. Yeah, Mama, I'm going to the picture show with Hope, whether you like it or not. The emblem of sin and shame. Night, Mama. Girl pictures. What? I thought it was so sad. <laughs> you know. You're just like a little girl crying your eyes out over some picture show. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just a tender-hearted kind. Is that why you never paid no attention to the fact that I'm... Well, and I'm crippled up. I mean, most girls do. That's all they pay attention to. Don't it bother you? Don't bother me none. I was married about 20 years ago. Wasn't crippled. Man. Had me a little farm, doing quite well, too. Bought this old tractor, and it turned over on me. Almost lost my leg. And my wife, I guess she didn't like cripples much. She run off. That's awful. That's mean. What's mean is that so-and-so leaving you with two kids. Now, that's what's mean. You used to boys, Sophie. I ain't no boy, I'm a man. Man with a plan. What kind of plan? Well, I'm gonna buy me a gas station with a garage, and I'm gonna fix up fine cars. Now, I've been looking at two places, and one of them has a house. <laughs> Always dreamed of having me a nice house. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's been a lot of lonely years, Sophie, but I didn't waste them. This time I'm gonna get me a nice wife. But what you calling a nice wife? One who who ain't been with men. Well, I hope you find her. Oh, I think I'm looking at her. Now, like I said, you've been with boys, Sophie Cooper. And boys, they show off with sex. Knocking you up and treating you like dirt. No, you need a man to take care of you. Not no boy. Oh, you, uh... <clears throat> You like me, Miss Cooper? Yes, sir, I like you, Mr. Jessup. <laughs> well, that's it. You and Mom is just alike. How's that? Mama's got me and Ray, and you got Lucy and Abbott. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a husband, then how'd you get Lucy and Abbott? Nancy Lee, hush your mouth. God was waiting for somebody special to come along for me. Like your daddy. Did you enjoy yourself Saturday night? Yeah, we had a real nice time. This, uh, Holt must be special. Yeah, he real special. Sophie, look at that smile. I haven't seen you smile like that for years. 
Are you gonna go out with him again? Yeah, if he axes me. Oh, Miss Bonnie, you think he will? If he knows what's good for him. I think so, too. <laughs> Appreciate y'all coming. Glad to see such a good crowd tonight. Alden will be speaking to us, but before he does, Brother Webster will lead us in a word of prayer. Thank you, Brother Ray. Yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing and the privilege of coming together in the spirit of goodwill tonight. Make us strong inwardly so we can stand when strong winds blow against us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Ten years ago, Put it right there. most every man here fought the Japs and the Jerrys. I sure did. Yeah. Uh -huh. We risk our lives. Yes, yeah, what is it? Don't say we were across like that. What did we come home to? Mm-hmm. She says a cross stands for how much Jesus loves us. That's right. Then how come they're pouring that stuff all over it, Daddy? The war made them worse. Indeed. Them boys come back. Talking big. We'll learn Acting like they somebody. Just because they think they fought for this country. <laughs> now we're paying the price. Now Washington is telling us our children will have to go to school with What's that? Will they have to ride buses with them? Not here. Eat with them. Bathe with them. I think not. What makes you think you're fixing to ask you? I just think it, that's all. Surely to goodness you ain't gonna marry no Hope, Jessa. Mama, I like Hope. Can't you try to like him too? I don't like him, period. <gasps> Where's some ease here? Hey, okay, now, no, no, just be nice, please. Come on! Hey, Did I tell you about crossing the road like that? Come on! Wait for me. Oh, I can't wait till y'all see it. Get a man a down payment as soon as I get fixed up, it's gonna be mighty fine. Huh? <laughs> Sophie, y'all ask that man how he gonna make any money way out here. Well, the nearest garages and land, they charge an arm leg. Now, that's how I'm gonna make my money. Mm -hmm. You sure getting out here in the boondocks? <laughs> now watch your step here. Watch your step. Oh. Yeah. See, I've been buying up secondhand tools for years. Now you see here, so uh -huh. now that's where my cash register's gonna go when I get one. Doubt y'all need one. Mama Hope know what he doing. <laughs> Come on now. We just go out the back here. Come on. <laughs> There's my house. Now, come on. <laughs> now, now, I know it don't look like much now, but just you wait. 
I, I'm gonna put in a swing, two, three rockers on the porch. I had this place fit to live in in no time. <laughs> Come on. It'll be a real fine place. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Come on down. Watch your step, man. Watch that there. Be careful. Now these boys are solid here. See? Take a lot of fixing. You know how? I fixed up a place for my mom. Mm. Well, it looked real good. Mrs. Cooper, you need to look on the bright side. This place ain't got no bright side. blessing on this thing, you might as well forget it. All due respect, Mrs. Cooper, but Sophie's a grown woman. Huh. She do as she pleases. I bet she pleases on doing something else after seeing this place. I'm off in her home, Mrs. Cooper. We have lived in shacks all our lives. Rented shacks. But this is worse than anything we have ever lived in. I'd worry myself sick if she was stupid enough to come up here. You wouldn't have to worry at all if you moved up here with us. Hell got to freeze over first. I'll bet you a dollar Hell's in for a shock. I'm gonna ask her. Be real nice if you wish me luck. Don't not too many folks ever accuse me of being nice. Oh, don't let Mama worry you none. She snapped like a crocodile, but she ain't got no teeth. <laughs> so the girl, ain't nothing in this world can make me put this burning I got in my heart for you back somewhere where I can't find it. Look at me, darling. Look at me. More than anything that I ever wanted in this life, I want you to be my wife. Now, I know you ain't never said you love me, and now, I've been worried about that. I say to myself, Oh, you're making all these plans, and she ain't never even said she loved you. Maybe she can't love an old man like you. Could you, Sophie? Could you love an old man like me? Oh, Sophie. You mean? Hear you say it. Oh, you must be telling him a thing or two. Oh, no, no, no. You fix me say it. No. Yes, you oh. are. Don't breathe out, Mercy. What that fool doing? I'm going to the breathe. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? She turned him down. Now you're trying to drown. Mercy, that show ain't no mouth-to-mouth -mouth resurrection. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Like <laughs> us! 
<laughs> you about to have yourself a son-in-law. Yeah! <laughs> if you so old, fired smart, why you sloshing around in that water? Why don't you just walk on it? Nice shot, eh, Ray? Can't top that, Judge. <laughs> I sure do like this course. Delighted you asked me, sir. Anytime, son. You've done a fine job. You've got a big career ahead of you. We just want you to know how much we appreciate all your cooperation. By the way, what's the latest on that Jefferson Butler boy? Well, sir, I, I had the fellas check on him, and the uh, thing is, he's driving 70 miles into the next county to buy for some nigger supplier. Beat that. They're wholesaling now. How enterprising. Well, you know the Lockwood family. They own the markets, and they don't like it. I think it's time you told the boys to take care of him, Ray. Leave it to me, Hunter. Y'all betting on the game, boy? I got a quarter saying you got him by six, sir. <laughs> Wise decision, boy. I certainly think so, sir. Fellas had a good time tonight, Alden. Thanks. I finally made it home in time to meet the mysterious Holt. And you must be the Mr. Ray I'd heard so much about. Congratulations on your upcoming marriage. Yeah, you take care of our soap in here. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You got yourself a good one here. The best. Good night, Soap. Bye, Mr. Ray. Good night, Mr. Ray. Good night, Holt. Sit there, honey. Okay. Don't you sit down. Come on, Richie. Come on. You got something old, something new. Something barge, your beautiful pearls. All I need now is something blue. It's mighty flowery. I'll get it for you. You put some. <laughs> It'll drive Holt crazy. I put this stuff on it to drive me crazy. <laughs> it's whole good and bad. How would I know? You mean you haven't? I mean, hasn't he? You really don't know. I ain't giving up nothing this time till I got me a ring on this finger. Smart girl. Shoot. It's been so long since I've been with a man, I think I forgot how to do it. Never forget, Soapy. It's just like riding a bicycle. Don't know how to ride no bicycle. 
Well, I'll come back to you once that cuddling gets serious. Mm. I just don't want it to be like it was before. Men all on top of me huffing and puffing, falling asleep. Have you ever had one? One what? You know, a climax. No, have you? Yeah. What is it? So be. Let's go. You and I have some talking to do. <laughs> I took your blue suit to the cleaners. My blue suit? For Soapy's wedding. I'm not going to any nigger wedding, and you know it. Come on, honey. Be sensible. And have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving a ring. Now, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. Uh, we got a daddy. <laughs> you enjoy the wedding, Lou Abbott? You my daddy? Yes, son. Yes, son. I'm your daddy now. Oh, this one's got a crack. You want it? You know, I have a good mind to give you that set of glasses and the china cabinet. We never use them. You know those... Pinky colored ones. It's funny, you don't have to. I want you to have them, Sophie. But them's good glasses. They ain't got no chip or nothing. I know it, and I want you to have them. I'm sorry, Sophie. I wanted to come, but Ray wasn't feeling well, and... What a day. Thanks, Ray. Maybe I should be like Holton. Get a job as a mechanic. I see no big lawyer like you fixing cars. What are you girls up to? Nothing. Just giving Soapy some stuff for her new house. Y'all getting it fixed up, Soap? Mm-hmm. Hope got the inside done and he's starting on the outside. Well, Hope got it looking fine. <laughs> we got any peanuts? I'll get you some, Mr. Ray. Where's Hope gonna be working? Highway 3, up past Gloucester. Andy Palmer's got a garage up that way. Mm-hmm. Hope gonna be working for Andy Palmer? <laughs> no, sir, he's working for himself. No kidding. Yep, my Hope going into business for himself. Bonnie, did you know that? Why don't you go in the living room and relax? You know, the news is fixing to come on. Well, you tell Holt I, I wish him good luck. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Hope you get to feeling better. Feeling better? I feel fine. Hell, I just found out, Andy. Yes. Y yeah, I know. His wife works for us. Been with us for years. My cousin told me he'd seen some of them up there. Now I know why. Now hell, Ray, I can't be losing no business to some dumbass nigger. What are we gonna do? For now, let's just keep an eye on him. I'll tell you when it's time. Oh, 
Oh. Mm. This is a funny color for a garage. It's gonna get mighty dirty. Well, you can see it a long way off. I'm gonna make my sign red. Big fancy letters. Holt's Garage. <laughs> Anybody touch it, I might mess up their face. I bet you ain't never. Well, how come you're talking like that? I messed up a man one time. You didn't? Who? My daddy. Your daddy? I broke his jaw and almost put out one of his eyes. I did it because he was whooping up on my mama. He got mean when he was drunk. I hate men who whoop up on women. Give me a long time to get over it. And I promised the Lord if he forgive me, I'd never hit another man again as long as I live. I made a solemn promise to God. And I'm going to keep it, too. Hmm. Tell you one thing, though. My daddy never hit my mama again. A lot of white folks passing by. <laughs> yeah. Potential customers, I see. Whew, if I don't hurry up here, I ain't gonna get that packing done. I'll help you. Sophia, I need to talk to you about something. Yes, ma'am? I'm... Well, I'm just a little concerned about where you and Holt are moving, it's close to Auburn County. Yes, it is. Well, do you, do you know what goes on in Auburn County? I sure heard some stories. No color folks live there. Well, neither do we. We live in Relesta County. Well, I just wish that Holt would find you all another place. How come? Sophie, that's clan country up there. We live in, in Relesta County. A lot of coloreds live out there. I don't like it, Sophie. <coughs> Lou Ray! <coughs> Little Ray, stop that right now. I told you, get up here right this minute. You must know how the clan operates. Holt is going into you business on a big road. You think we'd move up there if we thought there'd be trouble? What's got you so up in the air about it? <sighs> Come on, Miss Bonnie. Just be happy for me. I said it's moving day, so let's just finish up here so I can go on home and start my packing. this? The temperature in here must be 20 below today. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Some tea? Why, thank you, Mrs. Edgerton. Tea be fine. And what's your baby's name, Mrs. Cooper? Her name is Betty. Oh.
your tail. Oh. Here you go, sweetie. Come on, little man. Oh, I'll get that. No, 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 no. I'll get it. You all right? I won't be gone long. Your name Hope? Yes, sir, I'm Hope. What can I do for you? You know Tater Henderson? Yes, sir, I know Tater. He tells me you are a damn good mechanic. <laughs> People do seem pleased with my work. Well, this piece of junk ain't giving me nothing but trouble since I bought it. Oh, it's a fine automobile you got, sir. <laughs> it looks fine, but keeps me broke having to fix it all the time. Listen. Man, turn it off. Or it sound like something messed up. You can turn it back on. I'll be. What was it? Fan blade. Hey, <laughs> what? Fan blade. He got bent. That's all I can see. The problem is. Well, in that case, how much owe you? Oh, well, I can't charge you for unbending a little old fan blade, sir. But come back and see me when you got real trouble. I appreciate that, Holt. And I'll be back. You can bet on it. <laughs> As soon as the garage gets finished, uh huh, he want me to quit work. You gonna do it? What would Miss Bonnie do without me? Bless her heart. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Guys, I wanna keep working so we can buy some new stuff for the house. Y'all need to get yourself some neighbors. Mom, ain't this a nice kitchen? Uh -huh. Who ever heard of living in a place ain't got no neighbors? Way out Mom. here in the woods. Anything could Mom. happen to you than what would happen to me. Mama, can't you ever quit complaining? Get slowly way out here. I'm sorry, Mama. Look, we gonna make us a lot of friends. Once we go to the church and meet everybody, and then I'm gonna tell the preacher how good you sang. <laughs> you mean to tell me he didn't charge you a dime? Not even a penny. Unbent fan blade and told me to <laughs> tell my friends about him. That nigga's got a good setup. Yeah, he's starting businesses in Milton and Watkins County, too. You don't talk to any of the boys yet? No, 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 yeah. I think we ought to get him out now. Me too. Save your matches, boys. He'll be gone by summer. Anyhow, Ray said just to keep an eye on him. Would you like to handle that soon? I sure would, Daddy. Ain't no stopping us now, so I got a feeling. Good feeling. <laughs> we gonna make it up here. You see, we gonna make it up here. Holt, I got something to tell you. Here what is it? Now before I tell you, I wanna tell you I'm I'm worried about telling you. And what you talking about? There's a baby in there. Oh, please don't be mad. Baby? almost three months old. Now, Holt, I'll keep working right up till it comes, and I'll start back right after, I promise. Sophie, girl. Sophie. Sophie. Oh, Sophie. Sophie. Oh, mercy me, I didn't broke your heart. <laughs> you ain't broke my heart, girl. <laughs> you made me gladder than I ever been in my whole life. <laughs> And the joys we 
shed as we tarry there. None other has ever known. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Yeah, it was real nice. Tom, I want to thank you. Anytime you need me. I need to talk to you, Hope. Oh, we'll wait for your visit. We're going to go to church this morning. I'd like to meet you. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Tater? What's the problem? You the problem, Hope. You in that garage. You gone out of your mind. Look, Tater, unlike you, I ain't got no call to be running after little white golf balls in the hot sun. Oh, that's right. You was a man with big ideas running in your head. Uh -huh. Ideas that might get you hurt. You make yourself plain, Tater. Listen, you can say what you want about my job, but it gives me ears from one end of this county to the other. You heard some? Talk ain't been good about you and your family, Hope. White folks, they saying you up today. Up? I'm just running business, is all. How come you can't run your business over where the colored people is? Who say I have to? Nobody's saying you have to, but. But. But what? Colored man got a mind to open the business where all kind of people can come, not just the colored, but everybody. Everybody don't want your business. That ain't my problem. It ought to be. I don't think so. And I'm good to the right. Which way you coming? Which way? Get out of here! Get! Let's go! You gonna get it, nigga? Well then, come on! I'm waiting on ya! I said, Nancy Lee, honey, a lady don't get pregnant from swallowing no watermelon seed. And then, oh, wait. And then, oh, she huffed up mad like a hornet and said, Well, Lizzie say so. Girl, I tell you, they just thought there were little women out there. Bonnie. Oh. Come in, my study. Where is it? Where's what? My journal. Where is it? Sit down and I will tell you. Do you have any idea how worried I've been? Where is my journal, Bonnie? Are you going to listen or yell? Where the hell is it? I burned it. You did what? Ray, that thing is filled with evidence that could be used against you. What were you thinking? I knew that you kept a journal. I didn't think you were stupid enough to write all those horrible things down. Don't you ever call me stupid. You shouldn't keep those kind no, of records. I ought to take you outside. Ray, Ray, I've been so scared. Maybe you don't care how I feel, but I have been scared for us, for our children. You must be losing your mind, woman. How dare you invade my private things and destroy something that means the world to me? Ray, you're killing people. Niggas. People. They're niggas, Bonnie. And they're going to destroy everything my father and my grandfather and his father before him worked for. 
I don't know you anymore. I reckon I can say the same thing. Rick, you used to care about what I thought. What happened? What happened to that sweet little girl that promised to love, honor, and obey me? How could you do this? How could you? That was... That was... That was my diary! My journal! Ray, listen to me! No, no, you listen to me! You listen! That journal was mine! You had no business! Damn you, Bonnie! <laughs> He's never done anything like this before, so be. Oh. Be, oh, I'm sorry. Be still. I shouldn't have made him angry. Was she telling the truth? Yes. Then it ain't you worry. Oh, God. I never seen him so bad. He nearly wrecked the car. Five more months to go. Yeah. You won't be disappointed if it's a girl. Oh, boy, girl. It don't matter to me. Hmm? Hmm. Feel it. Feel it poop. <laughs> it's moving like a boy. <laughs> it feels like a butterfly. <laughs> I like to name Milton. Milton Thurgood, just after Thurgood Marshall. Hey, that's nice. That's very nice. Mm. <laughs> Sophie. Hmm? The clan burned another business out over close to Kaya. Let's don't talk about it not now. We gotta talk about it. Well, I tried and I tried to think of something, anything we could do, but I can't think of nothing. Well, I wanna wait. So they could burn us out of here? I ain't gonna let that happen. Well, why can't we just sell out and hunt us up another garage? Oh, Sophie, it ain't that easy. Every cent I saved. I put into this place. But they don't want us here, Holt. I hear what you're saying. Now, this is what I say. If you just hold on to this dream with me just a little while longer, so the girl, I just know everything gonna turn out fine. Now, I believe that I, I've done the right thing moving us up here. I got to stand behind what I believe, don't I? We got children to think about. All right. Look, I heard the clan gives a warning. Burns a cross for us or something. Now, if that happens... Then we sail. We can try. Honey, we need to. 
talk. It's so stupid you're sleeping in here. What is it you want to say to me, Ray? Bonnie, the clan does a lot of good things. You know that. Sure. If a man leaves his wife and kids, the clan goes after him. If a man beats his wife, the clan goes after him. Except when the man who beats his wife is the Grand Dragon. Honey, I'm so, I'm so sorry I hit you. I love you, you know that. And the kids. Just lost my temper. It won't happen again, I promise you that. them from hurting Soapy's family. Even if I said no, some of them would still do it. But you're the boss. Why? I, I, I can't police them all. If Soapy or her family are hurting this way, I will never forgive you. Damn it, Bunny, what is this? We love each other. I know that. You've always seen things out of her, baby. I am not your baby, Ray. You'll always be my baby. <sighs> when I met you, you were fresh as a warm spring day. All I wanted to do was love you and take care of you. No. You used to want me. Lately, all you do is say no. Well, lately, that's how I've been feeling. No. Ray, stop it. Stop no. it. Do you have an appointment? No, ma'am. I was hoping to see if Mr. Ray wouldn't mind seeing me. Hope. Something wrong, boy? He's my maid's husband. Can I see you a brief minute, Mr. Ray? Now, I'd be glad to wait if... <clears throat> Won't be but a minute. Mm -hmm. I know you're busy, Mr. Ray, so I'm gonna come right to the point. The Klan has been burning colored businesses. The Klan? What you mean, Holt? Well, there's nothing you hear about, sir. A little fire here and there. Don't get into the papers. Well, I'm here to ask you if there ain't some kind of law that say they can't do that to us. Holt, do you really believe there's Klan here? Is a clan here? Well, I, I heard about it in Auburn County, but not here. Not in this town, no. Yes, sir, but there's Jefferson Butler's store. Oh, he was losing money hand over fist trying to undercut the store up the street. Owed money to his suppliers. Colored suppliers, by the way. They took their payment by beating him. That's what I heard. Bad business. Begging your pardon, sir, but his wife swear on a stack of Bibles it was the Klan. You know as well as me, the law ain't gonna stop the Klan, old. Law around here, that's for sure, Mr. Ray. But I'm talking about the federal law. Well, how do you know about the federal law? I'm always reading up on stuff, Sophie say. But if you're so worried, why don't you just move? I work real hard to get where I am. I put everything I got into it. Don't want to move. And Sophie, she loved the home she made for us. Now, ain't there somebody up in Washington that can help us? I mean, surely oh, there's somebody. You know how me and my family feel about Sophie. But I also know if the Klan's after you, me or nobody else can stop it. Well, if a fine lawyer like you don't know how to stop it, I guess it's up to me. Good day to you, son.
What you got on? I said, Nancy Lee. Don't tell. Don't tell, Daddy. Honey, you know what that is you wear? It's the club costume. And it's the club secret, Soapy. Please, Soapy, don't tell. You won't tell Daddy, will you, Soapy? I want you to show me where you got them from. In there, there's a secret shelf. so dark in here. Sophie, aren't you going to wait for hold? Outside. Good night. Thank goodness they're both finally asleep. Whoever invented nap time was a saint. Why don't you take a break and come have a piece of cake with me? You go ahead, I'll finish up here. Sophie, are you and Holt getting along okay? We're fine. Is the baby all right? The baby's fine. Sophie, the other night when you left, you looked so upset. What was wrong with you? If something was wrong, I'd like to think that you'd tell me. Please. Of course, you're the boss, Ray, but I don't know how long some of these boys will hold out. You know them Henderson brothers? They're itching to go. You don't give them the word soon. Damn it, why y'all so worried? I got the situation under control. What the hell we gotta wait? Is it your wife, Ray? Is Bonnie upset? Because that nigger that works for him? You ain't letting your old lady boss you, are you, boss? Watch your mouth, Andy. My wife's got nothing to do with this. And if you think it bothers me that that nigger works for us, think again. I'm just saying, we should sweat him a while. Put a hell of a scare in him. Matter of fact, I talked to the boy the other day. He's probably getting out on his own. Well, he better hurry up. Because my cousin saw some white customers up there the other week. And he's taking business away from me that's rightly mine. Have you looked it over yet, Ray? Let's take a ride out there. That gas tank blow the whole place. You just say when, Ray.
Maybe them men's was just poking around. Poking around my foot? They was them cluckers, I'm telling you. Never should have come up here in the first place. You and your fancy ideas. Hanging moons, that's all you've been doing. Hanging moons. I need you to hold me, Sophie, girl. You all right? Remember a while ago I asked you to hold on to this dream of mine a little while longer? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it's time we let it go, Sophie, girl. Now hold me, darling. Please. Hold me tight. What's the matter? Because <clears throat> I ain't so sure this dream of being with you for the rest of my life ain't going to go away, too. I ain't never going to leave you hold. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring you all the way up here and then snatch you right out. But I think we should leave tomorrow morning. I'm done being scared of them. Not even made me mad. Ain't nobody scaring us out here. Well, now, Sophie, I gotta tell you. Tell me what? That after all your hard work, you're ready to give up? You still believe in me, Sophie girl? Beauty parlor appointment is at four, but I have to run a few errands first. Nancy Lee and Ray are playing in the garden. I promised them they could play out there till supper. Yes, ma'am. Sophie, I wish that you would talk to me. You got me feeling like a stranger in my own home. I'll be quitting work here soon. Because of the baby? No, not because of the baby. Then why? Watching Lorraine till I got supper fixed. It wasn't Sophie's fault. 
I told Little Ray to play in the playhouse, and I told Nancy Lee to watch him. She isn't old enough to watch him. You and Soapy should know better. You've been promising for two years to get rid of that dog. It's your fault if you ask me. Well, nobody's asking you. One of us should go over to Grady Hospital and check on Soapy. We're not going anywhere. We're staying here where we belong. Ray, Bunny, you two must be exhausted. Ray Jr.'s gonna be just fine. So if either of you or both of you wanna go home and get some rest, go ahead. I'll stay here. You go pick up Nancy Lee. Oh, thank you, Richard. I'm sure he's gonna be okay. I'm sure, Ray. He's a lucky boy. How's the baby? I'll let you know just as soon as I hear. I promise. Thank you. Hold. Oh, thank you for coming, Miss Bonnie. How is she? When she's in shock, uh, they won't even let us in to see her. And the baby? Well, they think the baby's... They think it is in trouble. Oh, Hold, I'm so sorry. Uh, how, how's Lil Ray? He'll be all right, hmm. thanks to Soapy. How can I repay her? Hmm. How are you gonna pay for saving a baby's life? Agnes. Don't pay no attention to Agnes. That's fine. Daddy? Daddy? Honey? You all right? Sleep, Daddy. Oh, no. Everything's gonna be all right. I told you that. You need to sleep. Is little Ray gonna be okay? Yes, he is. Is Soapy gonna be okay, too? Sure, she'll be fine. Now, listen, honey. I'm gonna tuck you in one more time. And this time, I want you to go to sleep, okay? Okay. Daddy? Yeah? Is Soapy a nigger? Go to sleep. Is she, Daddy? Is she? Yes. Yes, she is. Now go to sleep, Nancy Lee. And at least she's a nigger too. Sophie. Hmm. Come on, wake up, Doc. Soapy here? She don't want to see you. Um, I brought some stuff for her. You want to help me get out of the car? 
We don't want your charity. It's not charity, Agnes. I... I'm sorry about what's happened. God knows I am. But if I could just talk to Sophie. <laughs> I reckon there'll always come a time when folks like you and Sophie has done talked enough. Going home to your family, Miss Bonnie. Could you give her a message for me, Agnes? What kind of message? Tell her she's a brave and wonderful friend. And I thank her for saving my baby's life. I'm glad your baby's all right, Miss Barney. But I'm even sorry I can't say the same about Sophie's. Nancy Lee! Nancy Lee, come on, we gotta go. Six-year-old, my daddy's brother, Uncle Aaron, got tied up to a cottonwood tree because he told a funny story to a white lady. Uncle Aaron loved to tell funny stories. He loved to laugh. So he told his white lady a funny story, and they whooped him and whooped him. Whooped him with tree branches, firewood. One of them hit him inside with a plow handle. They whooped him till he passed out. All cause the white lady said he looked her in the eye while he was telling her that funny story. After that, Uncle Aaron, Uncle Aaron quit telling funny stories. Why are you doing that, Daddy? Because we niggers. Lisa, where you get that from? Nancy Lee. Nancy Lee? She told me I was a nigger the other day. Now you listen to me. You two listen real good to your daddy. No matter what nobody says, y'all ain't no niggers. You hear me? You are human beings. Colored with the shades of the earth and the sun. You God's people, just like everybody else. Amen. Lord, I should have told you. Holt, I should have told you. I should have told you, but I know you would have made me quit. I didn't know they'd do this. I swear I didn't know they'd do this. What you talking about, Sophie girl? What are they all clan, Mr. Ray? He a big man in the clan. He got big robes, lots of colors. Even Nancy Lee got one. You sure about this? Yes, I seen it. They keep it in the chest with a fake bottom right by the stairs. Oh, my Lord. Club meetings, they call it. They even take that child to him. I should have told you. You do this, and you still work for him. It don't matter. Don't nothing matter. Don't nothing no, matter. No, no, no. All right, all right. Let's go to bed now, family. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's go to bed.
Nancy Lee, are you ready for church? Yeah, come on. Hulk? Your husband home. Yes, of course, come on in. Holt. <laughs> Good to see you. I need to talk to y'all. Both of you. Uh, Nancy Lee, take a little ride to your room and play. Come on. Sit down, Holt. Don't feel like sitting. Is Sophie feeling better? Sophie! My wife's name is Sophie. Now, I want y'all to call it up now. Sure. <laughs> you know, uh, Nancy Lee couldn't say Sophie, so... It's all right for Nancy Lee. What's wrong, Holt? Last night, my little children watched a clan burn a cross in their front yard. My God. Damn. That's rough. You know anything about it, Mr. Ray? Why would I know anything about it? I think you ordered it done. Me? What the hell are you talking about? I, I got nothing to do with the Klan. Miss Bonnie, I, I didn't take time to stop. Can I use your bathroom? Then we can finish our talk. It's at the end of the hall. Does he get off coming in here like that? I don't want him in our bathroom. He better get the hell out of here, and I mean fast. I told you Soapy knows. She found out about it. She knows. Then you must have told her. I didn't have to tell her anything. She's not stupid, right? But that jig thinks I'm going to stand for him walking into my house and accusing me of something. He's in damn serious trouble. I guess my face looked kind of peculiar standing out of one of these, don't it? Take it off and get out of my house. I see your wife and your baby girl got one too. Get out. Nearly 30 years ago, I messed up my daddy's face so bad. He almost lost his sight in one of his eyes. Up till the day he died, his face looked so awful, little children run from him. I messed him up real bad. Now you got a nice face. And I got a real nasty tempo. Only one finger on me and you're dead. To save your child, your little boy, my Sophie risked her life and lost the life of our child. She poured her sweet, shining heart into this family, and last night this family broke her heart in two. I am sorry, Holt. Don't you apologize to him. I ain't looking for no apologies, Miss Bunny. Holt, I didn't have a thing to do with that. You shouldn't have been out there. Can't you ever stop lying? I can't stand this. I can't stand all these lies. I can't stand living like this. Why don't you just get out of here? You upset my wife. You just get the hell out. Long time ago, I made a promise to the Lord that I wouldn't lift my hand to another man. And last night, I prayed and I prayed to stop this burning. I got to put these big, strong hands around your scrawny little neck and squeeze the very last breath out of you. Hold the morning, Miss Bonnie. You think I ought to put a hurting on a worthless little man that beats up on women? Huh? No. I got a better idea. A plan. What kind of plan? Today you're gonna drive up to see Mr. Andy Palmer and you're gonna tell him you've been looking for a place in the country for yourself. What the hell you mean? I'd appreciate it if you shut up. Now you're gonna tell Mr. Andy Palmer 
that you and Miss Bonnie had been thinking about buying some property up that way, and you had this brilliant idea that instead of burning me out, you're going to buy that property for yourself. You're going to give me 200 to take over the payments. You lost your damn mind? I'm not buying anything from you. I wouldn't sell to you either. But you're going to put up a nice big sign, say, Edge to Garage, in nice big red letters. You're going to put your own up and take mine down, and you're going to make it look like I'm working for you, but that ain't going to be the case, because that garage is mine. And it's gonna be mine. You gonna tell this lie so they leave my family alone? You think Andy Palmer's gonna believe that? That's your job. That's, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. Uh, is it a deal? Is it? It's a deal. Thank God I caught you. Yeah, I heard about it. Good work. Listen, we're not through with that nigger yet. I want you to get a couple of your hunting rifles and get down to the intersection of highway. Hold it a minute, Andy. It's a copy of your journal. Let me call you back, Andy. The original's in a safe deposit box, and there are other copies. Where? Where? I'll never tell you. So you get back on that phone and you tell Andy to forget the rifles and you tell him exactly what Holt told you to tell him. Do it now, Ray. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I need to speak to Sophie if I could. Sophie ain't feeling very sociable today. Please. I only have a few minutes. Would you be kind enough to tell her I'm here? <laughs> Nancy Lee and Lisey, would you take the boys out there to play for a while? How'd you find out, Sophie? Nancy Lee looks pretty today. Not like she did when she come in wearing that white sheet. I'm so sorry, Sophie. I never meant for you to find out that way. What way did you mean for me to find out? Was she gonna tell me on my birthday? I wanted to tell you. I tried to tell you. You told me everything else. I guess the clan part just wasn't important enough. I was afraid. Afraid? Well, what was you afraid of? They sure wasn't going to burn your house down. I was afraid you'd hate me. You just didn't want to lose your maid. That's not fair. Oh, I was nothing but your girl. Sophie. Somebody to scrub your floors, diaper your babies.
around your house like I belong there. You did belong there. You were my best friend. Friend? How are you going to be my friend when you're a bunch of clan at the same time? I am not clan, Sophie. Truly, I never wanted to be part of that. Oh, you are part of it. Bonnie, how could you let that man make you Please do those kind of things? Destroying people's I lives. I let him do a lot of things I shouldn't have. Just I loved him. him. I had his children. And sometimes I thought that I could still see the part of him I once believed in. Look at your face. I'm leaving him. Here. What's that? It's a key to a safe deposit box. Safe deposit There's box? There's some papers in there that could put Ray and his friends away for a long, long time. Do you want it? Yes, I do. If Ray doesn't come through with what he promised Holt, you get those papers and you send them to the lawyer, the newspaper editor, and the FBI man on this list. This is the bank information and all the addresses. Mama always told me there was a cement wall between whites and colors. Can't no white person care about you. Not for you. Well, she's wrong. Where you going? I'll let you know. We'll be okay. Never thought I'd live long enough to see something like that. Right before my eyes. Times are changing, Agnes. You watch what I tell you, Mr. Ray gonna come through on our deal. Mm. Bet you a dollar. Believe it when I see it. <laughs> well, Lord, I guess all that's left is to thank you. I want to tell you how much I appreciate all that you have done for us. Firstly, I want to thank you for my family, for my Sophie, for my children, for this honorary old crow Agnes who keeps me on my toes. <laughs> And I want to thank you for our little piece of land, Lord. And for our house, and the garden, and the pond. And for the garage. I guess I figured wrong about clan days being over. I guess things in this old world don't change so easy. But... And we ask that you bless Bonnie, who did some mighty brave things to help us keep our garage. Mm -hmm. But most of all, Lord Jesus, I want to thank you most kindly for this here old moon hanging man you gave me. He's the finest blessing a woman can have. Amen. Let's see. <laughs>